gosh, how many I told you so's did you want to give me? How much uh, supporting evidence of what we've said did you want to give me? I mean, this is so easy, it's not fair. I, I didn't even know what to say. You guys want my computer bad, don't you? You want, you just trafficking, 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 trafficking. Look what that says. Does anybody know how to read? This is Cynthia Ortiz. This is a Charles Perry Stalker podcast, part two of the 4th of January, 2023. And um, can you guys pick out a link? Can you link things together? We, we're not stupid. We can't like that. There's a reason we have information and nobody will talk to you. Uh, we have a tech, the guy said, we have a Texas senator who is stalking a woman in tech in uh, Oklahoma. She keeps catching this crime. She's got some help. He's calling all around, wanting to go over her head to talk to her boss. And no one will call him back. And I said, no one will call you back until you're out of my life. I have my privacy back. You do not contact me again because I fucking hate it. Mr. Perry, you act when you're talking to me like you think I want to, like I care. Like you think I want to hear it. And I think I've made it very clear I don't. I have kicked you off off of me, rapist, for nine years. Stalking is a felony crime in all 50 states. It disgusts people. You got to be wackadoo to do it. Everyone gets rejected. Everybody else fucking moves on. Grow up, act your age, and get away from me. Get the fuck away from me. Do you go five minutes without committing a crime, sir? Hacking is a felony, sir. Peeping is a felony, sir, and it's a turnoff. You're, you're in love with being creepy. That is your wife. Your cruelty is your wife. Period. That's, I mean, you're fucking rejected. You're a failure. I, I got rejected. I moved right along. Next. We all have. You're a fucking failure that you can't keep up with the rest of us. You embarrass the hell out of me. You embarrass the hell out of everybody. And it, it speaks to your delusion that you're not embarrassed too. You should be. Or your mental retardation, as the uh, doctor said. You should be embarrassed by what you're doing. And you're not. All of you should. You want my computer. We said it. We've said it over and over and over. You want all my money. You want to traffic me. You want to steal my car. Get me kicked out of my home. And leave me destitute. So that you can traffic me. I'm easier to traffic if I'm broken and destitute. We've said it over and over and over and over. And you're proving us out. It's another I told you so. We said you're stalking. You're interfering with contracts and commerce intentionally, maliciously, planning it to coerce. To force me against my will to do or say something I don't want to do or say. By the way, when I said earlier in the other uh, earlier podcast, I was quoting somebody that I've quoted many, 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 many times before. A man who said, he was talking about how weirdo Charles is. What a whack job he is. The guy went around Oklahoma for six years, told everybody that's his girlfriend sometimes, everybody that's his fiance sometimes, everybody that's his wife sometimes, everybody that's his concubine. She won't even talk to him. People started thinking he was a little nutty when he's seen with her friends and family and never with her. He's always by himself. And, the guy, and then he forged her name to a marriage license. Then when people started going, well, she didn't consent. That's a forgery, also another felony. So where's the wedding photos? Then he starts going around telling everybody he's trying to plan a wedding. She's, he never talked to her about it. She's getting all this information from the police that gave her this, that investigating him, the ones that won't call him back from somewhere else. He can't find him, he's called everywhere. They won't talk to you. You're wasting everybody's time. We say it once. He said, here's what's gonna happen. You're gonna give it back, everything you took from her, and you're gonna get the fuck out of her life, or I'm gonna do it for you. I've controlled the information flow all these years for a decade. It's never up to you. We get the information before, not after. So that we can prove malicious aforethought. You planned it, you premeditated, you threatened it, and then you did it. So the criminal intent element has been met. But, and then some. And then some. Sentencing is a lot harsher when you premeditate a crime, sir. It's not spur of the moment and not out of necessity. You're just being a dick. So what he said is, 
if you don't do it, then I'll do it for you, and I'll control that too. If I'm sure, I mean, he got me the, he got me all this. I found out before. You got any other victims that have this kind of information beforehand? But you, I do. I have it. And you act like you have no fucking idea what it means that I have that. Why is it different when you do it to me? What is the reason we're getting this stuff so easily? What is the reason for that? What is the reason you're always rejected and always told on for a fucking decade? So the guy, the other guy he was talking to said, gosh, if that's all it takes to be married these days, you just sign your, somebody's name to a marriage certificate. They don't even have to like you. Hell, they don't even have to know you. Don't they barely know each other? That means it's not political if he's doing shit like that. Uh, then I'm married to Jennifer Aniston. And that was a guy. I'm not a lesbian. I'm not. I, I don't want to be married to, Jeff, to uh, Kim Kardashian or Jennifer Aniston. I like men's men, and I've said that. This is things that have been repeated and repeated and repeated and repeated and repeated. And just because you can't remember, it doesn't mean everybody else can't. We. I mean, can't. We uh, can't. We remember. Everybody else remembers. You forget. We have to repeat ourselves for the slow guy all the time. It's very, very, very fucking irritating. Very fucking irritating. I fucking hate dealing with it. I, did, I left 10 years ago, so for 10 years I have kicked your sick, skank, bizarre ass off me. You're not wanted. You're not loved. I'm not agreeing to be trafficked. You're trying to starve me and force me into it. You're putting unbearable pressure on me to do it. You're intentionally interfering with my income and contracts and commerce. Grand larceny is a theft, sir. You're in a lot of trouble and you don't know that, do you? You got an attorney. Does he not know that? Is he as stupid as you? If I'm quoting you like this, and I have names like Geppetto, your witch, Lucius, Sonjay, your hacker, Calvin, who's bald and fat, you shut off, they shut off my Dasher app twice today when I'm trying to work. Just shut it down. Just my whole phone, it went down. I was like, oh my God. So he's got two more. He's going to add to that, probably. He said, oh, there goes two more. I gave him a gold star, though. Tell him he won. Yeah, whatever. On planet fucktard. This is all the kind of stuff that we can get in because people fucking are sick of this, Charles. They're fucking sick of it. I'm going to take her car. It's illegal, but I'm going to take it anyway. Because I think I can. Is who's telling on me? Who's investigating me? Yeah, oh my god. And this one is when it started. It started before this one. This was just the first one I was allowed to say something. This whole email is in 2015. And the whole thing is about I intend to intimidate, threaten, coerce, entice. I'm going to starve you. But I got a great house in Houston where you'll be raped every day. And if you don't t like being raped every day, then you can go eat out of a dumpster in Houston. That's what trafficking does. You think I don't know? Sir, I've been involved in an investigation into your trafficking for a long time, and there's a lot of you, and there's a lot of victims, there's a lot of jurisdictions, and it's global. Otherwise, you'd already be in jail. We got plenty on you. You're just, I mean, you just can't give us enough. I told you so. I can't wait to testify. The whole, my, a 90% of my testimony is going to go, well, we did say, well, we did tell, we, we had it already. We knew. He did it anyway. He knew we knew. He still did it. We gotta get her back. We gotta starve her out of Oklahoma and get her back to Texas, where I can even do more to her, rape her every day, and she'll have a really nice house. Or we'll kill her once we get her there. Bring slip something in her drink. She'll never know. Yeah, you you like slipping things in people's drinks. Me and Mike both, and within a week we're both false arrested. You tried to kill us both. Both of us don't die. I can spot a pattern the second time you do it. Fucked hard. I'm sorry. You're slow and you can't. Because every time you do this stuff to me, you get caught. Every fucking time. Every fucking time. And it's piling up and piling up and piling up and piling up and piling up. Everybody fucking sick of this and they hate you. We don't have any problems at all getting quotes. You have not quoted even one from our guys. You don't know even one's name in 10 years. You haven't gotten shit. Six years in the strip club, not one slip out. She will fuck with you and you won't know it. And then she tried to do it. Then we got Calvin's name when you did that. When you had me kicked out of the fucking hotel, it was a skank hotel, a little roach motel, a sky motel. Um, you, you, this whole place f smells like fuck, it stinks in there, but it's all I can afford because you took all my money. I'm used to a much higher standard of living, Mr. Perry. 
when I make my money and somebody's not stealing it faster than I can make it, God provides it, you steal it. What do you think he thinks about that? If you gave Jordan, your daughter, money, and somebody ripped it, off, ripped her off, mugged her or something, took it, you'd be apeshit on that guy, wouldn't you? Yeah, it's okay for you to do, but nobody else. You got one set of rules for you and a whole different set for everybody else, right? Yeah, everybody's sick of that. Everybody's sick of the repeat, too, by the way. She already said that. Well, remember, it is Fucktard Charles. I'm recording these. You can listen to them again if you forget what I say. So, or to clarify that earlier, that was somebody else talking about you. Gosh, if that's what a whack job. If that's all you have to do to be married these days, I'm married to Jennifer Aniston. I'll go get a piece of paper and write her name on it. Looney Tooney. How embarrassing. So I'm quoting a guy who was talking about Mr. Perry. I was, I'm not saying I want to be married to Kim Kardashian. Oh, yuck. Um, I, I'm into guys, men's men's, men who are smart. I don't have to say it more than once. Men who work hard and have something interesting to talk about. You're married to being creepy. That's your wife. You're married to being cruel. That's your wife. You sit around and you do it all day. It runs everything you do, everything you think about. You, it owns you. Your dick problem owns you. How weird, how awful that that's the best you'll ever be. You've had 13 years to be something else and you're not. That is all you do 24-7. It's, it's all of you. It's fucked up. You guys think up sick, twisted shit no normal person can think up if they had to. How, how embarrassing for you. Like I said, jail's going to be something for y'all. I mean, I've seen it. I, you illegally detained me for two months. I, I'm sitting there watching um, these two girls. Where everybody's just sitting there eating, having a nice time. And, uh, I mean, if, as, my, not, as nice of a time as you can have in jail. There's no such thing as a nice time in jail. It's jail. It's not meant to be fun. But as nice as you could have being there and uh, everybody was you know reading a book or talking or whatever and uh, this one chick jumped up and hammered another girl well the guards can only do I mean by the time they got to her she's pretty beat up I mean she was pretty fucking beat up and so good luck to you princess I can't wait to see that I, I hate to say it but I'm not gonna cry if you get the fuck beat out of you I'd be, that'd be I think if anybody has that coming you do um, leave women and children alone Dudes, real dudes, don't like guys who beat down women and children to feel tough. Abusers, wife abusers, children abusers, sex offenders, sex weirdos, cop killers, cop killers. You think Chief Hall's granddaughter is going to go out with a cop killer? Yeah, how embarrassing that you would think that. You think I want to have, want to hear what you think? No one understands why the hell you think that. And you never shut up. Somebody said that. I think Mr. Fun sometimes she finds out what he's trying to do because he's taunting her with it. I think sometimes these guys get the intel and they tell her. But I think sometimes Mr. Perry's taunting her. I think he enjoys just fucking her day up. Taunting and taunting. of Here's what I've done to you already. I've taken everything you own. I've ruined your life. You're sleeping in your car and I'm going to take that too. Because you're going to do as I told, as you're told. Because I lived on planet Noah's Ark or something. Misogynist piece of shit. There is gender discrimination going here just with Tulsa. Because you're not in jail and you should be just for Tulsa. That's not including all your global sin. Global shit. Tulsa is not impressing people. They're not. Tulsa doesn't understand that all the phone calls made trying to find out who's helping me did not put them in a good light with other law enforcement agencies. Um, not on this. It's making me a fucking legend. So, I mean, they, they do what they do. They, they can live with it. They're grown-ass people. So we got all this. They didn't, Tulsa didn't give that to us. Who got this to me? You think Tulsa police got that to me? You're in, your whole plan, this is very detailed and very specific, of how you intended to traffic me. Life sentence you get with that, sir. Witness tampering. What's the sentencing for witness tampering? So you got two more of those today. Witness tampering. Because you fucked up my app so I wasn't making money. You shut it off twice. Twice. My guys watch everything you do on my phone. So he's going to get you on the hacking. And he's going to get you on interference with commerce and contracts. And he's going to get you on uh, deprivation of food and shelter. And all intending to coerce me. To force me against my will to do or say something I do not want to do. That's part of the reason we do these podcasts. So I, everybody can hear me say, I don't want to do that. Fuck the hell off, criminal. 
Fuck the hell off. When we get this stuff, Lucius, was it up to you? When we got this, David, was it up to you? When we got this, Charles, was it up to you? Any other victim have this before you do it? Any other victim have this before you do it? Told the police get that to me? Nope. They did not. Look at that. That's a lot of shit. Inside information in your criminal activity. Nobody else has, but we have it. And the guy that got that from you to me said in July she's not to be broke anymore. Get the fuck away from her. Do not contact her anymore. You're breaking the law. Do not invade her privacy again. You're in violation of the law. Stop it. We're all stopped. I'll do it for you. And the same way I control the flow of information, then I'll control that too. I'll control that too. And you're giving me control. Because you have a chance to do the right thing right now. Get the fuck out of my life. All by yourself like a big boy. And if you don't, he'll do it for you. And then he'll control that too. And it won't be up to you. What day is he going to bang your door down and you go to jail? Finally we're free. Finally the nightmare's over. Yeah, you're not loads of fun. You're not Mr. Fun Guy, Excitement Guy. You're fucking creepy and you like being creepy. It's a turn off to women. If you liked women, you would do what women like and you do everything we hate. You don't like women. You like deviant men. If that's not true, then prove it. Yeah, there's that. Not up to you. Not up to you. Not up to you. None of that's up, that wasn't up to you when we got that. Wasn't up to you when we got that. Not not up to you when we got this. But when you get into my privacy and you pester me all day and try to talk to me after I've asked you not to contact me at all and you invade my privacy, we get stuff like that and then nothing else has happened in 10 years but that. The more you fuck with me, the more we get. And then I'm like, well, I told you so. I did say. That's in March. That's the year before, but after that, they had they did get me kicked out of my apartment, and my got, my landlord said, "How many people have you gotten kicked out of their apartment?" He wasn't happy. You interfered with a contract, so that'll be a charge, witness tampering charge. You interfered with the contract, trying to coerce. You can't just get a date the normal way, because you're repulsive, and you know that. That's Matt Powell, isn't it? Talking to the judge, Judge Parker, maybe. Is that what that is? Yeah, I mean, I don't know. You tell me. Now we got a link to Car Guy. I mean, this is uh, uh, unbelievable. We're just like, hey, damn. Okay, so if you will read his, I said, first of all, we got along great. And then you come around. I did tell Michael, here's, here's the pot. My car was not Michael Neely when I made my vandalism report six days before that murder. There's no sh sign of forced entry. How'd they get in the car? I said, there's a couple of possibilities. Either they have some sort of uh, locksmith helping them, or they got they bought a key from my car guy. They went in and paid him. Pay, here, we'll pay, give you, a, I don't know, a thousand, two thousand, however much y'all pay, five grand. Give me a key to the, her car. I've had stuff stolen right out of my car. Sham, very expensive shampoo. Because remember, they wanted to frame me for a murder. Our hair color, my hair color, and the 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 real the girl that actually committed the murder. They don't, we look similar, but we don't, we, she's heavier than me, is what your witnesses said. Her hair is more blonde than mine. Mine's more a light blonde. Hers is more of a brown blonde. Her skin is darker. We want her to tan so they look more alike, but we can't let her have any money that she'd have to pay to go tan. We want her to dance, but we stole all her clothes. Right? Your hillbilly way of doing things? So I had, I, I used some shampoo that take the kind of tones the the brassy down it's expensive it's 20 20 20 to 25 dollars a bottle they stole that right out of my car they got to take it over to her so her hair color matches mine better you asked had somebody asked me i I'm, I'm at a quick trip of all places remember uh you know when i say a cop pulled me over it looked like he was waiting there for me and and there's been one that complained i'm not going to pull her over when she blows by here, which I can only know because he's hacking her phone and can tell where she is at all times, I have to go to the bathroom. I'm not going to be the one to do that. I'm not going to be the bitch of a sex weirdo. I can be, I'm better than that. That's what he said. The other guy said, I'm not pulling her over. He was told, you may not have a choice. Oh, I always have a choice. I'm a police officer. 
I'm not putting my name on the bad decision of a whack job. I'm not doing it. Well, your guy the other night did it. I'm at a quick trip. I walk out. I go in and pay for my gas. I walk out. Some lady comes. I don't know this lady. Comes running up to me. I love your hair. What's the color? Um, I don't know. Some I, I, Platinum. No, I need the name brand. I need the exact brand and the exact color. I fucking have no idea, lady. Get the fuck out of my face. You needed me to give you that so that the offender's hair matches mine. So we look more alike because your witness is worse going. Yeah, they're not the same. Cynthia's hair is a lighter blonde. Hers is more darker brown. Cynthia's not as tan as she is. And the girl's fat. And Cynthia's not. You're starving me, so I'm not fat. Quite a bit heavier. I'm quoting your witness. So now you need... Now that you're still trying to do that, even though you've been caught, that's kind of what y'all do. We're going, well, we told you so. Like oh, six times. Twenty times. A hundred times. They're just doing what I said. What we are, we caught them. We can get information from right up inside their cake, their meetings. We quote their meetings all the time. We got names of their people. They don't have anything like that. So, uh, what do you, who do you think you're fooling? I mean, I'm not stupid. I get maybe you think other people are stupid as you are. I don't know. But uh, so they steal my shampoo and some money right out of my car. No sign of forced entry. Yeah. Okay. So I tell Officer Neely, either they got a locksmith guy or they got a uh, paid off my car guy to give him a key. Which one is it? I promise you my guy already knows the answer to that. He may not be telling me, so I don't freak out. It might freak me out. If I know for sure you have a key, that might freak me the fuck out. So anyways, uh, he's... We had the whole... Okay, the oil viscosity thing is... Let me find it. It might be in another location. The oil viscosity thing comes up. Hang on. Okay, so again, dates and times of these things are very important. So look at the viscosity conversations here. Going back to February 2022. Yeah, that's about the oil viscosity in my car that was wrecked. I had a wrecked car. It wasn't wrecked like in a rack wreck. I came, uh, it, it had a very low, it was very low. I did have a hard, I don't, I don't know how to drive a car that's very low. It's stupid. I, and the radiator was really low. So I, I went uh, down a hill. And uh, it was like a hill that goes down and then comes right back up. As I came down the hill and was going back up, it hit the radiator and busted it. So the car was overheating and uh, not worth fixing. So uh, that was actually my fault. That wasn't a car accident that Mr. Perry caused. And it wasn't a, a there was no car accident. It was just uh, as I'm driving in a place that was very, in a, you know, uh, not very good for a cold car that's low to the ground and has a radiator right in front low to the ground. I came down a dip and, and hit that, just hit that radiator as I came back up, just boom. I wasn't going very fast. I was going about maybe I don't know, 30 miles an hour. It's just the way that it, the way that it was, just busted that radiator. So uh, it it ruined my car. Anyways, um, that was the car with the, that was the, 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 this, that this was discussed. Okay, so um, the guy that uh, I typically do business with on my cars has. I, I mean, I keep going back to him. He's good. He always gives a good deal. I've never had a late payment. We have a great relationship, and then all of a sudden, here comes Mr. Perry, as as, as always. If it's good, he'll fuck it up. If it's fun, he makes it unfun. If he, if there's no problem, he'll make one. He's, he's, he, he's got a. Somebody said he and Dave are troubleholics. They just thrive and get off on causing problems for everybody else. And so for that, people don't like that. So um, I mean, he's in a lot of trouble here. Um, I had a really good relationship with my ex-husband. We, it, it, you know, it's until unless until Mr. Perry would make a problem. Uh, Mr. Perry, you love, you're married to being creepy, and women don't like creepy guys. You like deviant men. If you liked women, you would do what women like. I'm repeating myself again. I asked you not to contact me. Why, why the hell do you think I care what you think? Why do you think that? Like, you talk to me like you think I care what you think, and I really fucking sick of it. I said don't contact me, I fucking hate it. 
And the more you do it, the more we get. You know, you're upset that we have all this and it wasn't up to you. When you contact me, we get stuff like that because I should stop contacting me. My guy said, comply with the law, quit contacting her. I'm not going to waste my time talking to you if you can't understand me. That's what he said. I don't waste my time on stupid. I, can't, I don't have time for that. Guess what? I'm very busy getting things like this. Finding out how often is he talking to car guy. Getting things like this. Calvin's name. Bald fat Calvin. Geppetto's name. Your witch. Lucius's name. Sanjay, your hacker. Beverly. James Rubin. Blanket Chip and Desiree. All the people that help you. He's busy getting that. It's, this is going into court. This is going into court. This... Okay? So, he doesn't have time to talk to a fucktard. You can't fucking understand him. And when he said, I said, don't contact her. And you do it anyways, clearly you didn't understand what he said. You didn't know. So here's all these, all of a sudden you can see the contingent viscosities in here. Um, oil viscosity. So there's a link right here. We got you linked. Okay? There's patterns. There's links all in this. I'm not gonna, uh, here's the thing. A lot of times I'll point it out to everybody. I'm not doing that this time. You fucking figure it out yourself, TPD. I'm not going to slow down for you. You need to keep up with me. We're getting tired of having to pull our finger paints out for y'all. Really, really tired of it, Jerry Bender. Um, you got numbers that you should be concerned about, Mr. Bender. You've got an officer that pulled me over that shouldn't have. Because uh, we're going to go to court now. Get, I guess I'm going to go up against you. It's traffic court. But it's stalking related, isn't it? Because I've been threatened with a pullover for fucking forever. And uh, every time I get a new car, I get pulled over. Because this, this one, Mr. Bender, you should have paid attention to this one a long time ago. And all the, you know, all the emails about, uh, we want her pulled over. 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 Repeat, repeat. Look at this, Mr. Bender. Right there, right there. Memorize that. Because the guys in Manfred got sick and tired of being asked to pull me over every time I got a new car. Got to get the information from the car and give it to a stalker. Yeah. Uh, so we're going to be, I guess, I don't know if it's you or somebody that works with you or somebody works for you. Now we got to see each other in court on opposite sides and have to argue against a city attorney. He's going to represent the police officer who did that to me for you. Um, how'd you know where I was? And uh, why did you not ask any follow up questions? Because I'm a victim of the, not only domestic violence, but coercion, serious, unbearable pressure, trying to force me to be trafficked. And you, officer, didn't bother to ask any follow up questions when I said, here's what he does. Here's, it's not the first time he's done it. I know what I'm talking about, sir. Uh, I got stuff nobody has. Oh, okay, well, I'll go write you a ticket. No other questions asked. No other fucks given. Cop. And you got domestic violence, murders, going through the roof. A 44% increase since 2020. Whose fault is that? An uh, attempted murder of me? I, I testified for a cop. You ought to care. Don't you care about a cop? I care about a cop. I mean, where are you guys? Binder? I mean, uh, this is outrageous. Look at all the viscosity conversations in February. And here's my car guy all of a sudden wanting to know why I used the word viscosity. Notice I didn't tell him in, the t in this text. I'm telling him today. I didn't tell him before that. I know exactly what I'm doing. Very strategic. We all are. There's a reason why we're way ahead of everybody else. Because Mr. Bender, nobody else has all this information beforehand. They get, you know, I do. That ought to scare the shit out of you. You're going to have to argue against me in court. On a traffic fucking violation. That I, I mean, it's not my fault. I don't violate the law. I don't want to do that. But somebody's intentionally and maliciously trying to make it where I can't comply with the law. Or a contract. And I've said it over and over and over and over and over. It's not like people don't know. I'm pretty sure somebody told me every cop in Oklahoma knows who you are. Every fucking one. Every fucking one knows exactly what's happening. In case you end up in their jurisdiction for some reason, they're going to keep an eye out for you. They're called. When you go anywhere, you go to Bixby, Bixby Chief of Police is called and told Cynthia's coming your way. Keep an eye out for her. So is Jinx, so, so is Broken Arrow, every single one of them are told, keep an eye out for her. So every cop in this state knows who you are. Okay, so there, I mean, that guy knew who I was, right? We have this, Mr. Perry, beforehand, not after. Now you got a dead chief of police in Lucky Miller because he wasn't going to do what you wanted. Neither was Mike. Was this one of them? Look at this, Bender. 
This is on the first. This is before I filed the police report with Tulsa police that they didn't investigate. No fucking blood draw. Nobody knows if I had arsenic or not. What if it was opioids? What if it was something else completely? All I did is Google symptoms. Arsenic came up, and uh, there was another time when I just felt kind of groggy. I can't even remember what it was, or maybe I maybe we got, may, we may, we may have gotten one of them saying she's too sharp on her feet. Give her something that'll relax her, so that when we try to do something to her at work, she won't catch on. Yeah, something like that. I think that might be where the phenobarbital came from. I don't remember. Um, I've been traumatized. Um, Bender, this does this not mean something to you? It should. I mean, this is probably going to come in, into play. It might. In a fucking traffic pullover. I mean, yeah, Lee. I mean, I have to establish a, a, a pattern, don't I? Pattern of, here's what they're doing. The causation of this pullover was X, Y, Z. The causation of my, my, uh, well, the reason for the pullover is not me. It's a stalker. Economic abuse is a big thing with stalkers. Domestic violence. Uh... What else is the, the, the DVIS has a ride program because stalkers go at the car. Now, these are things that that officer should have chatted with me about. Did he have his body cam on? I'm going to ask for the body cam, Mr. Bender. I'm going to fucking prove my case. And Mr. Perry's trying really hard to get my car today, as you can see. So he's interfering with, con with commerce. He shut my fucking dasher up down twice, so I couldn't do anything. He's, so he'll get charged with that by my guys, not yours. The ones that are getting all this information. Are you guys inept? Are they incompetent? Or are they corrupt, Mr. Bender? You can answer that question not better than I could, right? Look at all that. You, I mean, this guy doesn't even make sense. He's telling me to meet me at this place to pay him. You don't have to come all the way up. Uh, you know, you don't have to come all the way on the, the part of town where I'm in. I'll come down there where you're working. Okay. Then I ask him to meet me down. Oh, and then I'll say, I don't, what, you know, I don't do that. I'm, I'm, I'm not going to meet you down there. Well, why wouldn't you? you? It was your idea. I mean, it doesn't even make sense. Talk about cuckoo bird. So, I mean, you can see it. What, I mean, what the fuck is this? You offered the location, dumbass. Look, look at that. He did offer the location. You want to meet at Jimmy's Eggs? To give you money? Sure, call me when you're ready. And then he's throwing a fit about it. Why did that happen? I mean, I, I never had a problem getting along with this guy. He didn't act like that. Until now. That you're desperate to traffic me. And you're trying to cut off all relationships. Take everything away. Make, a, make me destitute so I'm easier to traffic. Take her driver's license and her computer so she can't do her schoolwork and get her school money. And we've said it over and over. You're caught. You are already caught. You're fucking caught. So, Mr. Perry, since you're stupid, and we, my guy's busy getting stuff like this, and then when you did it after, dates and times are very significant, Mr. Bender. You better study that. Know your shit. Know your shit on the facts, because I promise you I do. I'm not slowing down for y'all. You better keep up with me. Look at the dates and times. Look at all this stuff we have. I have access to this information. I don't have access to the actual recordings, but I can at least say I've heard the recording, can't I? Because a lot of that's confidential. We're not going to impair the integrity of what they're doing. Why would we? So, I mean, that's what you're looking at. You guys did it. You're going to get. You're going to get to. You jumped in the game. Make sure you can play. Okay? If it's illegal, Charles, you're going to get charged with it and you're going to jail. That's it. I mean, he doesn't need to waste his time on you. If you want help, then act like you want help. That means get out of my privacy, get the fuck out of my life, and give back what you took. I'm not broke again ever. Because this is really pissing people off, what you're putting me and Mike through. Really, really, really pissing me off. We don't have any problem at all getting information. Ten years, you have nothing. We're, here, we're sitting here quoting you. It's right here. You're caught already. You're fucking caught. Trafficking is a very serious criminal activity. We don't tolerate it in the U.S. We don't. I know you think we do, but you're delusional and you're a whack job. So you think a lot of things. Nothing real about it. Now, is everybody clear? I'm not lesbian. I like guys. I'm very, very into guys. I like guys who are, don't put up with this shit. These guys that are helping me, that kind of guy. They're working very hard. They're very interesting people to talk to. They're all married or have a girlfriend. It's not like that. We have that. We don't have that kind of romance. There's no romance. It's platonic. But if I'm going to look for somebody that I'd have a romantic interest in, it would be like that or like Fabian. The, one of the things that turned me on with Fabian is he was working his ass off. I thought that was great. That, that, that is what women like. Men who are working hard have something interesting to talk about, not sitting on their fat, lazy ass, pretending they have a life while they're blowing up somebody else's. 
You're married to cruelty and you're married to being creepy. And that owns you. And it's pathetic. Now, uh, you guys do what you want to do. But I'm just pointing out facts again here. This is objective. It's not subjective. It's objective. Okay? I didn't get the blood test. Mike got the blood test after he's been treated with Narcan, which changed the whole chemistry. So, we'll never know exactly how much opioids he had, who gave them to him, how they get in his body, his blood, and how do you find somebody knocked out, cold, and wasn't, doesn't have a head injury, and not a mark on him. I mean, you're retaliating against because I pointed out fact. You don't like fact, because the fact uh, implicates your guilt. Right? It's going to be very easy to find you guilty when we talk about fact. And you don't like that. Right? Is that right, Mr. Bender? You're the attorney. You're the city attorney, right? So we might actually get to meet. We might actually get to argue against each other in court. And I'm looking forward to it. Nobody, I mean, we want to establish the shit for the record. And we know that you're going to try to impede it. And you just did. With, when, when you called him and said, text her, that's what you just did. You think we don't know? We know. We know everything you guys do. You got 40 police officers ape shit on you right now. Because I'm sleeping in my car. You're still causing problems for me. And I'm in danger. And they need to be there. He said, get the fuck out of her life. When we get this stuff, we have always, Mr. Perry, controlled the flow of information, Lucius. It's never up to you. When we get this stuff, always we have controlled the flow of information since that date right there. And it is never up to you. And he said, you give it the fuck back to her and you get the fuck out of her life and never contact her again or I'll do it for you through the normal legal process. There's the restitution and shit. And after that, civil suits. And then we control that too. I'll control the whole thing from start to finish. If that's what he wants, I'll give it to him. I fucking duck can't stand you. You're vomit. You're creepy and you're cruel and nobody likes that. Nobody even understands that. Because normal people can't bring themselves to hurt someone else on purpose. Normal people cannot do it. And it, our shrink said he's got guys helping him that have convinced themselves they're normal. It isn't normal to hurt people on purpose. And so I promise you when I interview them, I'll tell them what their mental illness is that allows them to be able to do that. Because it is, it is not normal. Mr. Perry, do not contact me anymore. But I, it gets us these. Is that what you wanted? It gets us these. Every day that I'm broke, the longer Mike's in jail, he gets us these. Is that what you wanted? Because that's all you've gotten in 10 years. I don't care what you think. I will not help you. If you want help, my guys will help you. After I have my money back, you're out of my life, and Michael Neely, and I have my privacy back, and Michael Neely's home with his family, and only then, and it's getting to where that's just too fucking late. The longer you drag it out, he really just can't do anything else for you. The more I told you so's you give me, there's not a whole lot he can do for you. So we're, we're pretty convinced you don't really want help. It's, 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 I mean, you're not doing what you would need to do if you wanted help. You're doing just more of the same. Here, drive that ship around in a circle. Here's your shovel, dig away. And you get deeper and deeper in shit. So, Mr. Bender, I, I mean, I look forward to meeting with you. I hope the guy had his, his uh, body cam on. Uh, I'm going to ask for that. I'm going to request it. So you're caught on the sex trafficking. You're not fooling anybody at all. Other people are not stupid. We can connect links and we can do patterns and all that shit. And Tulsa Police, you're going to have to start keeping up with me because I'm not going to slow down for you. And this is not hard. This is not hard shit, is it? What does it mean that I have all this, TPD? How did I get it? Who got that to me? What This right here should have made you shit yourself. How'd she get that? Because you guys took my police report and gave it right to the offender, which is not what you do if you're policing and tr trying to save a life. 44% increase in murders of domestic violence victims in Oklahoma since 2020 is not impressive numbers. It's not even kind of impressive. We don't want to be on the first 48 TPD, and we don't want you to take us to a shelter. We want you to take the offender to jail. And Mike Neely might not be where he is, and Chief Miller where he is, had you fucking done your job right. So you already are on, you know, are on the shit list with a whole lot of cops. Because you should have done what you needed to do before there was a cop killed. You, you, you realize what it means when you talk to other cops and they, and they know about all this, right? Because you're asking the questions, you're making the phone calls. And, I, and what, didn't one of them tell you something like, 
if if you're having to, if she's if Mr. Perry's trying to make her alter her appearance, or the other girl, the actual murderer, alter her appearance, then she Cynthia has been ruled out. Because if she's the murderer, you just collect the evidence. You you don't start altering evidence, Lucius. Yeah, you're caught. You caught when you do it to me. Why is that? Start thinking.